American Pickers star Mike Wolf's girlfriend Letitia Klein reveals her real skin with dark circles in makeup-free video. Hello everyone, my name is Alana B. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And give this video a like up. Letitia Klein has shown off her real skin texture in a new selfie video taken without any makeup on. The girlfriend of American Pickers, the star Mike Wolf, took to her Instagram stories to give followers an update on her current travel situation. The video showed Letitia, 44, in her hotel room after arriving in France without her luggage. The model wore a gray sweatshirt and had her blonde hair draped over her shoulder in a messy style. She her face was free of makeup and showed her natural skin texture, including the dark circles under her eyes. Letitia informed her Instagram followers that her luggage had gotten lost and that the time change had her feeling out of sorts. I look like asterisk asterisk, I'm f asterisk asterisk king tired and jet lagged as a mother f asterisk asterisk care, she said. But it's beautiful, she continued as she showed the outside view from her room. While Letitia's skin appeared to be clear in the video, she recently opened up about the strict skincare routine she has to keep herself looking young at the age of 44. Letitia's opened up about getting Botox and fillers in her face. In the first of many photos, Letitia sat outside in a chair while looking into the distance. She wore all-white attire with a sleeveless top and long pants. She tied the look together by wearing a pair of black high heels. She shared more pics of what her real skin looks like in selfies at the plastic surgery center. Letitia began her post, Come with me on a face journey. For three years now, I've been on a very strict skincare routine. Mostly preventative, but also a lot reparative. When I was young, no one wore sunscreen. I was a model for most of my life and had so much makeup, self-tanners, and different products on my face for years. And then I added motorcycles to the mix, so basically I wore road dirt, and whatever harsh chemicals flowed around in the environment on my skin constantly. Just like dieting, you can't expect results without working out. The same is for your skin. I get all kinds of treatments, but that wouldn't be as effective without at-home skincare routines and office follow-ups. I've tried a lot because I don't want surgery. Lumeca and Kio 2 RE Fractional Laser for Sun Damage. See pick 8 for before and 9 for after. AQUA Geology for the most amazing facial I've ever had, mostly for big events, Botox, and a little filler under my eyes. Since I'm at an age where collagen is not what it used to be. And finally Morpheus 8 to stimulate collagen, which has been the most painful but the most effective. She then went into detail about staying out of the sun when she can, as well as staying hydrated, using the right skincare products, and taking vitamin supplements. She thanked the plastic surgery company that helped her learn more about how to properly care for her skin. Letitia also took to Instagram earlier this month to open up about her late father on the anniversary of his passing. The carousel showed a few handwritten postcards with the first being one she was sent from her dad over 15 years ago. The model then shared a series of cards she had written her dad while traveling in 2016, saying how much she wished he was still alive. The last photo in the post showed a postcard she wrote on June 8 of this year, recognizing the 15-year anniversary of his death. The card came from her hometown, Cave Country, Kentucky, where the journalist said she recently filed to run for mayor. Love you and miss you forever, even after I'm gone, she signed the recent card. In her caption, Letitia mourned the loss of her father. She wrote, I hate June. I hate the eighth of it when I lost you. I hate the twelve when we buried you. I hate all the days after that I had to pick up my life and figure out how I was going to live it without you and all I've been doing since is wearing myself out trying to find you. I hate realizing that one day I will remember you for longer than I've known you. I hate that my son had to grow up without his papa and how many times we needed your guidance. I hate being strong every day 
and I hate hating how much I miss you. Writing to you is the only thing that has ever made your death seem less real. Like it's just one long vacation that I'm on. Each postcard a brief moment we share, and even though it documents my struggle with mourning your death, it also documents how much I've lived because of you. And though I go through moments of anger, I'll never hate how much I love you and everything your life and death has taught me, she finished. The comment section was full of support, with many thanking Letitia for sharing her story about how she stays close to her father. Topics American Pickers thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, American Pickers, and stay with us.